Hello, greetings from Boonery TV. In today's topic of animal world, we will see a male animal that gives birth. Which is this different animal? How does it get pregnant? How many young ones does it give birth to? Take a look. Whether human beings or most of the animals, it is the female that gives birth to young ones. But one animal is different. What is that? It is a seahorse. In seahorses, the female doesn't get pregnant, rather the male does. How? Let me explain. The male and female seahorse come together repeatedly for some several days. They do this every morning. It is called the courtship dance. During this courtship dance period, they reinforce their pair bond. They change color and sometimes even wrap their tails together. After this, the female seahorse has her eggs ready. She deposits her eggs into the male's pouch. What happens next? Take a look. The eggs are fertilized and the seahorse incubates them in his pouch. This happens for about 20 to 28 days of pregnancy after which the male is ready to give birth. The pregnant male's abdominal area begins to undulate rhythmically and strong muscular contractions eject the newborn ones. How many? 2,000 babies. So 2,000 babies being born. A male seahorse giving over 1,500 babies at one time isn't uncommon in the unique world of seahorses. These newborn ones are very tiny. These newborn ones resemble miniature versions of adults while others may still be curled up and covered by some of their egg membrane. Once the babies are born, how do the seahorses care for them? Watch ahead. By the time the male finishes giving birth, the female has already got her eggs ready to go and they mate again right away. Shortly after the male gives birth to many such tiny babies, the parents don't really nourish or care for their children. They are left fully independent. So although the seahorse dads go the extra mile to give birth, the parents do not provide their tiny offspring with any care or protection after they are born. Hence, infant seahorses are susceptible to death from predators and being swept into ocean currents. It's difficult for them to survive from all the babies that were born. Say for example, if a male seahorse gives birth to 1000 babies, hardly 5 infant seahorses survive to adulthood. Indeed, how unique is the reproduction process? 